I thought they were outstanding, simply put. Um, I beat on every measure, uh, whether you're looking at revenue, profitability as well. Um, also, user growth within Azure was really strong. Um, as I said, you know, we think that this is still the early stages. Uh, people talk about cloud technology. They think this is, you know, we've been talking about it for the best part of five, six years. Mm. Um, we still think that we're in the early stages of that. I talked to sort of the penetration levels earlier, yeah. um, being sort of sub 10%. And if you think about areas within IT infrastructure that perhaps can move or companies can move away their spend from over the long term, things like servers, uh, storage, networking infrastructure, that all goes away when you can simply uh, lease the infrastructure from Microsoft and then run perhaps their software or even your own on their platform. Um, so, yeah, a long, take the long change. Way it's a trillion dollar company now as mm. well. It has been, a, I think it was close to a trillion, if not that, late last year as well. Again, I have to ask you the same question. 27% rise. I'm looking at a five year chart as well. 223% higher over that period as well. 25 times forward. Still good value? Uh, yeah, we believe so. Yeah. Uh, if you, I mean, if you look at it on a five year view, and we're holding. Uh, the average holding period for, for our investments is five to seven years. So we're long only long term investors. As I said, this, this investment case hasn't played out yet. Um, it's only just started to. 25 times is in line with the software sector. And if yeah. you think uh, in terms of earnings growth, we're, we're low 20s as well for Microsoft. You're basically paying on par for that level of growth. We think that's, that's relatively attractive. Coming sure, just just one, one question on valuation, Steve. I think yeah. you mentioned a very important point here because uh, 25 times uh, forward earnings. Do you think this is the new norm now uh, in this uh, in this world where obviously real rates are so low, but also the fact that some of these companies are changing their business models yeah. quite rapidly. Yeah. So so uh, so you know a, a cash cow of yesterday can become a growth company again. Yeah. Is that something? Uh, that, that's ab out? Yeah, that's absolutely right. I think you know there's there is obviously quite rightly a lot of focus on tech sector valuations at the moment, um, and the one thing that we would say is yes that they are they are elevated relative to historic levels, but these are different companies as you pointed out. Now, um, recurring revenue, subscription revenues is a higher proportion of of business than it ever has been before, which should make these companies more stable. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.